just got left. But I think the first place guy. Action pack next four days, so. We made it. With our luggage. Time to go to Tasmania. We are here in Melbourne. It's cold. It's like 50 degrees. It's our last day we traveled today. Uh, before getting on the road, we want to do something fun. A park run. You do realize we have to run there to get there on time. <laughs> it was like 100 degrees yesterday. <laughs> I don't get Melbourne's weather. I seriously don't understand it. One day, it's 110. And then the next day, it's raining and tailing. And then the next day after that, it's 56 degrees. Like, I don't get it. It literally drops 50%. Well, they say Melbourne has four seasons in a day, so yeah, true. we're experiencing that. It's probably going to be 100 today. Oh, okay. We've made it! We're at the Melbourne Park Run, and it's a free 5K every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. It's really cool. You don't have to run. You can walk. A lot of people walking their dogs. We're walking right now. We had to run over two miles to get to the run. We were slightly late, so we were running a little bit faster probably than we were planning to. So, the good thing is that we're out here. We just got laps. But I think the first place guy. We just finished lap one. Thank you. We made it. Yay. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. How you doing? Good. I'm tired. Give me your thoughts. Are you alright? <laughs> yes, <laughs> of the run we just completed. We're standing in the finish line. How do you feel? Jennifer Lee, tell me. Uh, that was a lot of fun. That was an awesome run. We just finished. I don't really know our time. We were a minute late from the start. But, granted that we were late, we joined in with everybody else. And we walked and ran the majority of it, like off and on. And so I think the, like, the best thing about it is that you can, even though it's a park run, you can literally walk it. There's people walk, like still coming in and just walking with their strollers or walking with their dogs. They're still walking. So it's amazing. It basically includes a free competitive, a presentation run, competitive thing to do for free to exercise, which is amazing. On every Saturday morning. On every Saturday morning, for free. So, now, what are we, now what are we about to do? Now we're about to head back and have breakfast. And now we have to go. We are leaving Melbourne today. Very sad. Very, very sad. So the one thing that we're, we miss out though is everybody goes out for coffee after for, after the park run. Uh, we have to get ready for our trip, so we're missing out today. But maybe next time. Packing is never fun, especially after not packing for a month. <laughs> yeah, I hate packing. We're flying budget again, so we're like trying to figure out, okay, how, how much do our bags weigh, you know, because we paid for a check bag this time, but still, like our bags can't be more than 15 pounds, so we'll see. I gave up on this. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, to be determined. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Okay, how's it going? We bit the bullet and we paid for bags this time. Last time, then we 
almost had a surcharge of like $400. Uh, we decided just to pay the, what, whatever it is, $80 both ways for two bags. Not bad. We made it into the lounge. Success. Success. We got coffees. Most important. There's my fine. Which is fun. pretty good considering most Australian places they've been to don't have that fine. Yeah. There's Tim Tams. There was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna be looking for the next hour and a half. Yeah. So many people have told us to go to our destination all throughout our time in Melbourne. And we're really excited we're going because we didn't really expect to go here. Kind of like our Uruguay trip. We were close, so we went and we ended, and it was amazing. So we're really looking forward to it. Now wait at the terminal. The only problem with lounge is just like the dark side. If there was one, is you're not at the terminal, so you don't really know when your plane leaves. So just now, the terminal said two hours delayed, so I like to just double check. And so I went to the actual terminal, and they said, no, we've switched, like, you should come here now. So it's like... So we're on our way now. So now we're going, and hopefully they haven't left yet. We made it. Hey, hi guys. Hello. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. expected to go to Tasmania. Yeah. It wasn't exactly on our radar. Thing. 
year to go and many people have recommended us to go to Tasmania and so we looked at, into it a little bit further and decided to just do it and so yeah. So we're really excited to explore Tasmania. We have a few nights here, a rental car, our hiking boots, and we're gonna see everything that we can see. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We have just arrived at our final destination. <laughs> We're close to Cradle Mountain. Can't wait for tomorrow. As for now, it is midnight. It is time to sleep. Oh. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Jennifer said we're not going to sleep until we look at the stars. Yeah, because I made a comment whenever we were driving that we were literally in pure darkness with the exception of our headlights and we could see some of the most beautiful stars I've ever seen. Okay. And I said on, in the drive, I said, what did I say? I don't know. It was... I was envious of how beautiful they are. And how I would love to go visit them one day. <laughs> <laughs> Astronaut Jen, you heard it here first, folks. You can't tell, but there are thousands of stars up there that we can see. That is gorgeous. We just got off a month in Melbourne, and we're already planning our next vacation. <laughs> the last two mornings we've had to Go to bed late, wake up early. Cute dog. Okay, wrong side of the car. This side of the car, yes. What a day. We have just arrived here in, which, what town are we in? I have no idea. 